Hello dear creatives, welcome to another interesting tutorial on this YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this rose headband with satin fabric. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. The materials we'll be needing for this tutorial are Alice band, satin fabric, I'm using a better satin fabric, and I'll uh, also be needing you a shoe gum. You can as well use your E6000 or E7000 gum, and we'll be needing a telos chalk, measuring tape, hot glue gum. office pin, a pair of scissors, and lastly, we'll be needing a crinoline. line. I will start by cutting out two pieces of fabric that I'll be using to cover the Alice band. And the measurement of the fabric is 2 inches for the width and 23 inches long each. So I have my two uh, pieces of fabric cut out already. And um, I'll take one of the fabric. So as you can see on the screen, I'm going to fold it this way. And uh, then after, I will apply my gum and I'll start wrapping it around the Alice band. So you just watch me and see I'm going to wrap the Alice band with the fabric. So I've been able to wrap the Alice band up to this point. I'm going to stop at the midpoint here. I will apply my gum now. Okay, so I'm folding this in such a way that the rough edge is going to be on top of the Alice band. Because my design, the rose uh, design is going to cover it up when I'm done. Okay, so I've applied my gum. I'll just place it right here and I'll cut out the SS fabric. Using the same procedure, I'm going to cover the other part of the Harley's band with the other piece of fabric I cut out. Okay, so that is me trying to apply my gum and after applying my gum, I'm going to place the fabric on it and then I will wrap it around. I have been able to wrap the entire Alice band with the fabric. So now I'm going to set the Alice band aside and I'll measure and cut out the fabric I'll be using to make the rules. So the width of the fabric is 6 inches and the length of the fabric is about 58 inches to 60 inches long. 
right so now i'm going to take the fabric and uh, with the right side facing up this is the right side of the fabric this is the right side facing up i'm going to fold into two equal half okay so when i fold i have the wrong side and i'm going to stitch so i will stitch to the other end of the fabric after stitching, I'm going to use my scissors as a loop turner to turn the fabric inside out. And then after, I'll push the sewn part of the fabric to one side. After which, I'll take my crinoline. Okay, so I'm about to insert my crinoline inside the fabric. So you can use your scissors to do this. So after inserting the crinoline, line, I will secure both ends of the fabric. So that is exactly what I'm going to do now. I will take my needle and my thread and I will make a running stitches here and then I will pull and tie. After securing both ends, I'll take my needle and my thread and I'll make my running stitches on the fabric. Now, if you observe closely, you will see that it is the same parts of the fabric that I'm going to be making my running stitches on. Can you see? So it is this part that I'll be making my running stitches on. Okay, so please, I was supposed to divide the fabric into two equal half because I'm making two roses, right? So if you want to make one big rose, you can just make your running stitches to the other hand. But because I'm making two roses, I will divide the, the fabric from the middle and then I will secure both ends. So it means I will be uh, working with these two fabric to form my roses. Okay, so this is one of the fabric. Uh, after securing both ends, I've made my running stitches. So the next thing I will do is to pull. I'll pull the thread. And after pulling the thread, I will then form my roses. So just watch me and see how I'll form my roses with the fabric. Can you see? So what you need to do basically is to arrange. You just pull, arrange, and then you tack with your needle and your thread. After arranging my work, I have to tack this down and then after I will tie it or I will secure it firmly. 
so i'm done making the first rows i'll take the other fabric and i'll make running stitches on the fabric then i'll repeat the same procedure to make the other rows for the headband At this point, I will take the Alice band and uh, I'll be using my, my needle and my thread to tack the roses down to the Alice band. Before tacking the rows to the Halis band, I have to determine where I want the rows to sit on the Halis band. It could either be at one side or the middle of the Halis band. Okay, so after tacking the first one, I will also take the other rows and then I will tack it down to the Halis band. And I have my rose headband ready okay so that will be all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like our videos